All right, this video is over mean absolute deviation, or MAD. Um, it just goes along with our notes page. So uh, what does MAD mean? Well, mean is an average. Absolute means positive, like absolute value. So absolute value of 3 is 3. Absolute value of negative 3 is 3. So it's technically how far is it away from 0. So it's a positive value of deviation is the distance away. So first step is collect your data, and then you find the mean of the data, meaning you add up all the numbers. So in our data table, we're going to add up 30, 25, 40, 20, and 15, and then we're going to divide it by 5 because there's 5 numbers, and then we get 26 is our mean. Okay, so our, the mean of this data is 26, and then we're going to find the deviation or the distance away from the mean. Okay, and since 26 is 4, or sorry, 30 is 4 above 26, we put plus 4. 25 is 1 less than 26, so we put minus 1. And then, and so on, we have 14 away, we have 6 away, 11 away. All right, and then we find the absolute deviation, kind of a sub-point here, um, which basically means we find the absolute value of each of these numbers. Okay, so it doesn't really matter if it's a positive or negative, it's just, it's away from the average. So this is 4, this is 1, this is 14, this is 6, this is 11. So the mean, absolute deviation, then we need to find the mean of these distances. Alright, so I'm going to add 4, 1, 14, 6, and 11. Okay, and then I'm going to divide it by 5 again, because there's 5 uh, deviations or 5 distances. And then I get 7.2. Okay, so again, remember, to find the mean means to add all the numbers and divide by the amount of numbers. So again, find the mean. <clears throat> After you have your data, find the mean, and then find the deviation and the distance away, and then you find the average of that. All right? Thanks for watching.